Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Jackson here. Another quick video on solving multi-step equations, but this time we're going to look at what an infinite solution looks like, and we call that an identity, so we'll talk about that in a sec. Alright, so we have a problem here on the left to solve, and as always we've got to kind of break out this variable out of these parentheses here using the distributive property. 6 times x is 6x, six and 6 times 1 is 6. Kind of get everything out of here. And, whoops. And we just want to get all of the like terms together that we can on each side of the equal sign before we start doing our inverse operations. So we do have some constants here on the left as well as on the right. So let's combine those. We're going to leave the 6x alone. Combine 6 and 5 and combine the 13 and the 2. All right, so we have uh, addition here on both sides, and we're going to undo addition with subtraction, the inverse operation. So we're going to use the subtraction property of equality, and in this case, um, you can subtract 6x from either side. I think you're already going to see what's going to happen here. 6x <clears throat> minus itself, of course, reduces to 0, and the same thing's happening over here on the right. So in this case, um, we just have 11 equals 11, which, is, which in this case is a true statement. So unlike the previous example where we had our variable terms disappear and we were left with a false statement, in this case we have a true statement or true equality. So all values of x, all real numbers, an infinite solution, uh, will actually satisfy this equation and make it true. Okay, so all real numbers, an infinite solution set is our answer. Now, we can try any any value we want. Let's try x equals 1. Doesn't matter. And everywhere where I see an x, I'm going to put in my 1 here. I don't like the look of that. All right, and see if we have equality. That's my dog barking. Okay, so I have 6 times 2. i got to work in those groupings first. And I have 11 plus 6. And I end up with 12 plus 5 equals 17. And it checks out. And you can go ahead and try any value of x you want. Positive, negatives fractions, decimals, and you will have equality. Thanks for listening. Hope it helps.